Our example to build confidence in the world for population proportion is as follows. Suppose you're interested in knowing, this is the question. What is the proportion of U.S. teens who own a cell phone? Very good. So we're a statistician. Our very first step is asking a question. Well, it's basically taking forever we don't have enough money. We don't have enough resources to ask every single U.S. teens. So what are we going to do? We're going to take a random sample. We take a random sample of a thousand U.S. teens and 372 say We have a cell phone. There. But what is the true population proportion? We're not going to stop here. We have to build or construct a confidence interval for population proportion. We need to follow these important steps. In step one, find the point estimate. This is my very first step. The point estimate p hat is defined as x divided by n, the number of successes divided by sample size. The number of successes is the number of US teens who said, hey, I own a smartphone. So 372 divided by 1,000, which is going to be 0.372 or 37.20%. This is your point estimate from one random sample. We're not going to stop here. We're going to continue. We're going to go to step two. In step two, we're going to identify the level of confidence. In this question, I don't see any pieces of information about the level of confidence. When you see a question like this, with no information about the level of confidence, you by default select C to be 95%. So ZC, as you memorized before, is 1.96. ZC is 1.96. It helps us to go to step three. In step three, we can easily build the margin of error, which is ZC times square root of P hat, one minus P hat divided by N, or 1.96 times square root of point 372, open parenthesis, 1 minus 0.372, close the parenthesis, divided by n. n is equal to 1,000. Perfect. It approximately is 0 0.03 or about 3%. So the distance from left, from right, to 37.20% is going to be 3%. It helps us to finally write the confidence interval. So step four for you guys. CI is equal to P hat minus E. P hat, you already calculated P hat, 0.372 minus 0 0.03 and 0.372 plus 0 0.03. Three, which is going to be approximately, so let us do the subtraction, 0.342, and here you have 0.42. And don't forget to write a couple of sentences here for your report in the project, in the exam, in the homework. We are how many percent confident? We are 95% confident. Remember that the level of confidence is not given, so always use 95%. Put this here. We are 95% confident that the population 
proportion of U.S. teens who own smartphone is between 34.20% to 40.20%. We are not 100% confident, why? Because we didn't work with the population itself. We just took a random sample. 